Hello everyone. So in this video, we're going to be creating a function. So it's a PWM function, which is pulse width modulation. And uh, basically the input that we have is the duty cycle, which is uh, determining how, uh, for how much time the signal will be high. Uh, so 25%, like say you put in 25, it would be on for 25 and then off for the remaining 100 minus 25, which is 75. Um, and uh, so we're going to create a function for this so that uh, the one input will be a duty cycle uh, which is a percentage from zero to 100 and it will plot uh, basically what the what the waveform looks like so let's get started uh, first is going to be our input statements so statements lib and pyplot as well. Okay. Now we're going to create our function, right? So function is def uh, pwm. We'll call it pwm and duty cycle. And then it's good to actually put in a comment here. So over our comment, we'll say duty cycle is equal uh, equals. Uh, 0 to 100, right? Duty cycle. Um, basically, what we're going to do is, uh, in order to see the, the sharpness between going from on to off, we're going to make it, um, we're going to add more samples. So we're just going to multiply that percentage by 10. So, duty cycle. Um, then we're going to initialize our array. So data equals empty. So basically, uh, we're going to do uh, samples of one. Basically, it, high is a one, and then uh, low is a zero. So first, we're going to start with the high. So we'll create a for loop high in range. Actually, before this. Uh, we need to uh, have the number um, of off samples as well. So we'll call it off cycle by res is going to be 1,000 1, minus the duty cycle in range for i in range uh, duty cycle by res. Um, so now what we're going to do, we're going to append one. So this is appending ones for, uh, 10 times, 10 times the samples of, uh, what duty cycle you wanted. So say you did 25, it'll add 250 samples of one. And then the remaining uh, would be 1000 minus 250, which is 750, uh, cycles. I mean, 750 samples of zero. So. Now we're going to do four, J in range. So this is going to be the off cycle virus. Uh, data dot append zero. Lastly is we're going to take our RA and we're going to plot this data. Yeah, so uh, basically we can uh, run this. Run it. And then uh, we get uh, successful, right? Uh, didn't get any errors. So now we're gonna do a couple of test cases, right? We'll do 10, we'll do, we'll do zero, 10, 25, 50, 75, and 100. So a couple of cases, so uh, test cases, right? And then this is a uh, 0% duty cycle, right? And then for PWM, zero. Run. Yep, thousand samples of zero. And this is ten. Run. Yeah, so on for ten hundred samples, and then off for nine hundred samples. And then here you can, because it's high, you can see this really the steepness. Um, 
in actual in reality definitely you have a, a transition time between going from high to low it isn't always the steep it, i mean this would be like infinite time um so let's go to a couple more cases 25 50 7500 so four more cases cases there we go, 25 and then 250 samples and then 750 samples off. Um, let's go to 50. So half and half, half on, half off. Here we go, I'm getting closer and closer to basically be pulling on, fully on. And then the last case is, And then this is going to be always on. Yeah, so then you can look back at all these, you know, starting from zero, then you have like slowly, slowly, you have uh, the on um, until you're fully on. And uh, some of the applications, this is basically used for like uh, dimming LEDs as well. And uh, useful for um, uh, basically, you know, like just functions and um, mostly in like engineering, world, electrical engineering. Um, and uh, yeah, so hope this was helpful. Uh, any comments, suggestions would be really appreciated. And uh, um, see you in the next video. Thank you.